it's the final day in Spain and it's gonna be some of a mixed workout. It's gonna be a little bit of handstand, front lever, some planche as well, because we have filmed just content for six days in a row, so our bodies are just pretty fucked up. So I will do whatever I can, and it's gonna be pretty fun. I also have Christoph behind the camera. He's doing some basics, but I might film him, film him while he's doing it as well, so you get to see him a bit. And yeah, I think we're just gonna get started and see where we end up. Hopefully I got some power. But let's try a Maltese, or it might even be like wide planche on these P-bars. I don't know. But start off with that, see my body's strong and push. Then we move on to some pulling stuff as well. Just a mix of everything. Not too bad, that was better than I expected. We do do a lot of like planche stuff today when we film. So I thought my shoulders were gonna be dead, but they performed pretty good. We do some more planche and then we move on as well. Oh yep, getting the basics. For those who didn't know, he do have an injury. I think it's called like scoliosis or something like that with the spine. And he's been off for elite training for a while, but doing basics and literally doing everything he can. Everything possible. Oh yeah, champ mentality. So I got some orders from Christoph to do a front lever pull to touch. It's a sick move. He has mastered it, like some really clean stuff. If you see channel, his channel, a little bit, a little, his channel as well, you will see a lot of front lever to touch. So I will give it a try. I feel pretty powerful, so I'm hoping for the best. His face is saying like this was 99% solid. I do know that I'd, it wasn't fully touched, but damn close. Was it good enough? It was good. Yes. What do you guys think? Are we gonna see him in reps competition pretty soon? Endurance. Pretty maybe. Soon, no, but maybe in, in a years. It's maybe possible. in the future it is an endurance champion we're looking at right now. Imagine. <laughs> Both categories like yeah. Style. Complete as fuck. So I got some tips from Christoph himself, the champ. First up, closer with the hands. So we have it here. You already feel like if you're wide, it's not that good of a connection. The closer you are, the easier it is to actually tighten the whole body. So that's perfect. The other thing I'm doing a bit wrong is that I'm almost overextending the hips. So I'm pushing it upwards. So he told me to more like squeeze it in. That's the next thing I will try. And the other thing is not to hold as long in the beginning in the normal front lever. Because of course it wastes some energy. Those three things, we put them together and see if this next attempt is any better. I think it was cleaner. Slightly shorter hold, but I don't know. It was cleaner, better, better run. Yes! A one thumbs up from Christoph. He's holding the other camera with the other one, so I think this is like the best he can give. I'll take that as a good job. Let's get it. The next thing I haven't told Christoph what I will be performing. I hope I can perform it, but it will be a surprise. It's pretty heavy stuff, and my goal now is to do it clean. I know I have performed it, performed it a lot, but to do it, do it clean is uh, always a bit harder, especially with pressure when he's watching. You know. And you actually train today. And I train today. <laughs> but now I got some hype. I don't know. Music, combo, the weather, everything adds up. Let's give it a shot. Solid. Let's fucking get it. A bit slow press, but I think the Victorian was actually better than usual. Noise. Next up, we're doing some handstand to one arm and then down to full planche, trying to get control. Let's see how it goes. Ah! 
Ah! Fucking full. Give me some chalk and I will do a straddle and then we give it another try. Maybe a Christoph can agree on this one, but one arm handstand is the most crucial thing to have good grip. I feel like planche and front lever, everything you can pretty much perform without perfect grip. But one arm handstand, if you don't have that solid connection with the bar, you're fucked. You agree? I agree. Yes. Yeah, that's the way. So get chalk. <laughs> or don't have sweaty hands. I don't know. We give it another shot. I'll do straddle. It's easier for me to connect the core and I'm more comfortable with it. So hopefully I can actually get the one arm hands done and then we get the full planche. I'm gonna try to hold it at least three seconds as well so we get some solid holds. Ah. Whew, that was definitely a longer hold. I don't know the form of that, either planche or Victorian, but it was something. I got another suggestion from the cameraman himself. We're gonna do straddle planche, drop down, do one side front leg pull up, and then normal front leg pull up. Could look pretty good if I complete it. Not the cleanest for a bit like bummed down, but to some degree completed it. I don't know, not fully satisfied, but something out of my comfort zone. Let's try to do two front lever pull-ups and then just a solid hold. Because it's different, like on the P-bars we can enter it with good false grip from the beginning and everything. But when we have to jump up, it's sort of different. So I'll see if I can maintain my strength. That's different, it's way heavier. Also, if you have a smaller grip, it sort of hits different, easier with them, it's a bit more thick. Yeah, either way, two pull ups, I think they were right. The hold, not the best one, but something. Also, if you wonder what we've been doing here these days, we've been filming for YouTube. I've also filmed a lot for the community. If you don't know about it, check it out in the description. And Instagram Reels. We were also here for Gournation and they are launching some new stuff that you're gonna see some teasers on pretty damn soon. So we filmed some good reels and some marketing stuff for them as well. And then of course some chilling as well. I mean, we are in Spain and we enjoy the weather most days. We had some rain as well, which kind of sucked. But we adapted, we still made some good videos. Me and Christoph made some sort of podcast as well. So, and that's coming out on the YouTube as well. So a lot of good stuff to look forward to. But now, let's do some dips and then some pull-ups. I think that's gonna be a good way to wrap it. Endurance like Christoph. Damn, I think we got some pump. Pretty bad lighting for flexing, but maybe we got something. Let's do some pull-ups. It was just a few, one minute of the dips. Might be a bit sore, but let's fucking get it.
that was something but damn i feel like endurance is not my strong side i get so much soreness from just a few reps but it's what it is i get i train statics and freestyle that's what i get good at we're always ending with some flexing so why not do it here as well stopping off double bicep something we have a double arm every time i flex it looks like i'm gonna kill someone with my eyes i'm sorry for that then my favorite is the maltese maltese flex Might have gotten a little bit of it. And maybe some slight pump from the pull-ups. <clears throat> That's gonna be it for today's workout. It was sort of all over the place. Me doing front lever, planche, doing what Christoph told me to do, which was nice, pushing the limits a bit. And ending it with some reps. That's always nice to do, get some pump. Now it is the final day in Spain, so we will enjoy the sun a bit, go and eat. We're also gonna go and see Daniel. He is actually at the hospital. I haven't told you guys anything about it, but he got some pain in the stomach. So he's right there, he's there now. He's pretty fine, but they're gonna like put in a camera and check if he got something stuck in the throat. We keep you guys updated about that as well. But yeah, besides that, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one, most likely in Sweden. Ciao, ciao.